Ben vs. M1 Saga is the most exciting storyline on YouTube right now, and I thought I'd continue the saga by letting you know about how I've been going on and about with the M1 Mac Mini 16 gigabyte. If you haven't followed this whole saga, check out my videos before this. I made a bunch of videos about all these issues and stuff I've been having with the Mac Mini M1 8 gigabyte edition. I ended up getting the 16 gigabyte edition, which I've been using for the last several days. And let me tell y'all, I am so pumped to report that I've been having almost no issues with it whatsoever, even Final Cut Pro, even Bluetooth, even monitor issues. I'll talk about all those things in this video. So if that sounds spicy, smash that like button to help me in this algorithm experience and let's get into it. I had a lot of issues with audio dropouts in Final Cut Pro on the eight gigabyte model of the M1. Basically what was happening was there were some RAM overload slash bottlenecking weird issues that I was noticing. And some people even asked me, why did I even get the eight gigabyte model to start out with? And my main reason for that, of course, knowing it's not the most maxed out version of the Mac mini is, you know, there was a lot of hype about the eight gigabyte model, this base model, just going crazy when it comes to editing video and all this other stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try out the eight gigabyte version first and just see if it's really worth the hype. But when I started getting all these issues with that model, I was just like, you know what? Maybe people were right. And I did need 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I edited my last video and this video you're watching right now on the Mac Mini M1 with 16 gigabytes using Final Cut Pro. And I am so relieved that I did not experience that same audio dropout issue, which was driving me completely bonkers. The 16 gigabytes cuts through the footage like butter. There were no audio dropouts. I was able to export everything totally fine. So everybody that's been screaming at me in the comments, just like, yo, you need 16 gigabytes of RAM. What are you doing with eight gigabytes of RAM? Come on now. It just seemed like that eight gigabyte version was just littered with issues and I'm about to return that model and I'm gonna keep the 16 gigabyte. It just seems like I'm back to normal and back to a machine that works really, really well. So come through 16 gigabyte Mac mini M1. One of the biggest issues that a lot of people, including myself, have been reporting about with the Mac Mini M1 and the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro M1 is Bluetooth issues. Once I upgraded the eight gigabyte version to Big Sur 11.1, I actually didn't notice a whole lot of Bluetooth dropout issues with my Logitech K380 keyboard and the Magic Trackpad 2. Sometimes I would boot the computer and I would type some stuff and nothing would happen. And then finally the letters would show up on the screen maybe five to 10 seconds later. I just had to restart my computer and it kind of reset everything to the normal Bluetooth usage. And again, I'm happy to report that the 16 gigabyte version of the Mac mini M1 is working really, really fine, almost 100% awesome with my Bluetooth peripherals. I haven't noticed that weird key stroke thing issue, that delay between typing the keys and then seeing the letters on the screen. I haven't noticed almost any of that on the 16 gigabyte. Sometimes when I boot up the computer from scratch, I will be using my keyboard and my Magic Trackpad and it'll take maybe like a second or two when I first boot up the computer and there just seems to be like a little bit of lag, you know, like I'm moving the cursor around and it's not doing anything. And then all of a sudden it starts working again. Not a huge deal because after that initial lag, there's like no lag at all. And the only other weirdness I've noticed with Bluetooth is with the Sony XM3s. For some reason, when I connect these wirelessly to my computer, the Bluetooth audio sounds nice and everything seems to be working fine until I switch the sound input to these headphones. Like if I wanted to use these for Zoom or something, all of a sudden my cursor will just be a little bit slower and my keys on my keyboard just seem like they're a little bit less interactive. That's using three different Bluetooth devices at the same time with the 16 gigabyte model. Everything still works. I just do notice a little bit of that lag. One of the other persistent issues that I noticed with the eight gigabyte Mac mini M1 was with the monitor. I had a 27 inch LG 27 UK 850 W. So I was using that monitor with the eight gigabyte version and with the 16 gigabyte Mac mini M1 for a little while. And I was noticing that there were sometimes these color issues, like everything looked kind of washed out on the display. And sometimes I would switch from HDMI input back to USB-C input, which is how I have the Mac mini M1 connected to the monitor. And when switching from HDMI to USB-C, sometimes the display resolution would just be super zoomed in. And I had to restart the computer just to get it 
it to look proper again. So with the 16 gigabyte Mac mini M1, I did notice some of those monitor issues with that particular monitor, but then I realized that monitor is actually from 2018. So what you see right here is an updated monitor. This is the same LG 27 inch 4K monitor, except this one is a 2020 edition, the 27UN 850-W. This one seems to be working totally fine with the 16 gigabyte M1. And I haven't noticed any of that color, you know, washed out look or the resizing when switching from my Nintendo Switch on HDMI back to the USB-C input. And I also just ordered a Dell UltraSharp monitor because I'm still thinking like, what is the best monitor and webcam and microphone and lighting kind of situation for the Mac Mini M1. And I'm super happy about Final Cut Pro finally working without those audio lag issues. I'm pretty sure those issues were software related, so a part of me wants to keep that eight gigabyte version just to see if that's what it was. It's honestly just been a blast working with the 16 gigabyte Mac Mini, and this goes to prove that either I needed more RAM on the eight gigabyte model, or that model was just completely cursed. Maybe that model was like the Gollum, of Mac Mini M1s and it just needed to find his ring. My precious 16 gigabytes. So anyway, I am so satisfied with the 16 gigabyte M1 Mac Mini so far. And if you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments below. Like if you are experiencing more issues with your 16 gigabyte or the eight gigabyte edition, I'd love to see y'all down in the comments. If you haven't already, please smash that like button below. And thank you so much to everybody that has been subscribing to my channel. I've been witnessing the most amount of growth just in the past month alone from doing all this M1 Mac Mini stuff. So I'm really glad that y'all are enjoying this content. Thank you so much for being here, for being part of the hashtag AquaFam, and I will see you in the next video.